For years, Elizabeth Edwards prepared her family, and especially her children, for her eventual death. Now, as the family is planning her funeral, there is speculation about her children's future. And as CBS News correspondent Elaine Quijano reports, there are understandably some difficult choices ahead for them. In the end, you know, you, you reach for the things that are going to give you comfort, the beautiful things, you know, your children, the people that you love and care about. On Saturday, Elizabeth Edwards will be laid to rest in a Raleigh cemetery near her son Wade, who died 14 years ago in a car accident at the age of 16. During her six-year battle with cancer, Elizabeth Edwards did her best to prepare her family for her own death. The most important thing you can give your children um, are wings, because you're not, they're, you're not going to always be able to bring food to the nest. You're, sometime they're going to have to be able to fly by themselves. She spoke bluntly about the disease that would later take her life. Cancer doesn't care that you have young children who need their mother. And wrote letters for her children, filled with practical advice on how to choose a church and even a spouse. But the last year of her life was not without turmoil. In January, she separated from her husband, former presidential candidate John Edwards, after learning he had fathered a baby with campaign staffer Riel Hunter. Still, John Edwards was by his wife's side when she died. It was very important to Elizabeth that uh, the father of her children be um, in good shape and that he uh, be able to carry on. Although there's speculation John Edwards will raise the couple's two children, before she died, Elizabeth said she was doing all that she could so that they would be, quote, able to function without an involved, engaged, and admiring parent. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, Chapel Hill, North Carolina.